on the subject, the move of the Spirit of God. The move of the Spirit of God. Our objective is to understand the move or the action of the Spirit of God. And our second objective is to understand what it takes to spark off the move of the Spirit of God. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, and it shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, grace, grace. Unto it. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I want to start by saying the spirit of God is the executive arm of divinity. The arm that gets the work done. The father decides the word that is the son declares and the spirit delivers. Did you hear what I just said? Every time something needs to be done, the father decides. He said, let us make man in our image. The word declares, let there be light. And the spirit delivers what has been decided and declared. So God is saying, anything you want me do to do, it is not your energy. That will get it done. It is not your strength. It's not your ability. It's not your wisdom. It's not your resources. It is my spirit. Whether it is in a life. Or in a family. Or in a city. Or in a nation. If it must be done. It requires the spirit of God. Somebody say a loud amen. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, do it, Lord, by the power of your spirit. So there are three dimensions of works that you will see. First, the creative works of God are carried out by the spirit of God. God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the spirit of God moved on the face of the waters. So the creative works of God. Where something needs to be created, the spirit of God gets it done. Secondly, the resurrective work or 
restorative, the resurrective or restorative works of God are carried out by the Spirit of God. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 out all the way to verse 10. Where life needs to be brought back. Where new life has to be introduced. Where something that was lost had to be recovered. It takes the spirit of God. Finally, the impossible works of God are carried out by the spirit of God. Every time you are at a junction and it looks like this is impossible, it's the Spirit of God. That was what we read in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6 and verse 7. The word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith. The Lord, who art thou mountain before Zerubbabel, it shall become a plain. That is, by my spirit, mountains are levelable. There is nothing qualified to be called a mountain before the spirit of God. Whether in the front of a person, or in the front of a church, or in the front of a nation. There is nothing qualified to be called a mountain where the Spirit of God is. It is levelable. And tonight, I believe that God shall cause us to see the move of His Spirit. If you believe that, say loud, Amen. Now, the Spirit of God, taking it a bit further, the Spirit of God has the character of the wind. The character of the wind. In Acts chapter 2 verse 1, on the day of Pentecost, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord, one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And he filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them, clothing tongues like as of fire. And he sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit of God has the character of the wind. John chapter 3 verse 8. He said, the wind bloweth. Where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God, the wind. So if you want to understand the character of the works of God, of the Spirit of God, it's good to understand the character of the wind. Am I communicating at all? So if God, if the spirit of God is going to move on your life, is going to move on your family, is going to move on, your ch on the church or move on the city or move on the nation, what character does he possess? The character of the wind and what is the character? So as to understand the work. Number one, unpredictable. Unpredictable. The wind is unpredictable. And the works of the Spirit of God are also unpredictable. He said the wind blow it where it listed. You can tell where it is coming from. You cannot tell where it is coming from and you cannot tell where it is going. It's unpredictable. Every time a man attempts to predict God, you can easily miss God.
every time a man attempts to predict the move of God, you can easily be offended with God. Unpredictable. In Job chapter 9 verse 10, the Bible speaking said, talking about God which doeth great things past finding out. That is, God does great things that can't be predicted and wonders without number. Things that can't be predicted. And then in Romans chapter 11 verse 33, Romans 11 33, Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So the move of God upon a life, the move of God upon a family, upon a community, upon a city, upon a church, upon a nation can be quite unpredictable. His ways are past finding out. But the critical thing and the good thing is that he does what he wants to do the way he wants to get it done. Am I communicating here? Somebody shout the loud and say amen. Number one, unpredictable. Number two, unstoppable. The wind is unstoppable. So the works of God, the move of the Spirit of God, the action of God, the agenda of the Spirit of God is unstoppable. Nobody blocks the wind. So nobody can block the move of God. Nobody can block the agenda of God. Every attempt to block the wind is to make more ways. When you put a roadblock, you create more ways. You just create more ways. The wind is unstoppable. It's unblockable. In Isaiah chapter 43 and in verse 13, God speaking there, he said, Yeah, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will walk and who can hinder it? Who shall let it? Who can stop me? I am walking and I am unstoppable. Somebody say the Lord and say amen. So it is unpredictable. It is unstoppable. Number three, expeditious. That is big word. For speedy, quick, swift, rapid. The wind has rapidity. The wind has swiftness. The wind has quickness. It is expeditious. It has a high degree of urgency. You have winds in the days of where you have tsunamis and volcanoes and other tsunamis and and hurricanes, there are hurricanes that travel at times 500 miles per hour. That is the speed of an aircraft that flies in the air. And you see the wind blowing on the ground like this, uprooting houses and uprooting trees and moving as if nothing was happening. That is wind sp speeding. There was a hurricane some time ago that we saw the picture of how it went to an airport and turned aircrafts upside down. And, and, and was just turning the aircraft, carried them from the ground and turned them like that. Some in the air, it confronted them and just changed their direction. There is wind with speed. Whenever God gets set to move, it is faster than the blink of an eye. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? It is quicker. That is, that is quicker than the speed of the twister and the tornado. So when the spirit of God moves, he moves, he moves unstoppably. He moves unpredictably, unstoppably. And moves expeditiously. It's expeditious. Number three. Number four, it's recognizable. How is the wind? What are the works of the wind? Unpredictable, unstoppable, expeditious, recognizable. Recognizable means, well, perceivable. He said, how here is the sound thereof. You can hear it is audible, it's audible, it's audible. Thou here is the sound thereof. But you don't know where it is coming from. And you don't know where it's going, but you can hear the sound. It is recognizable. It is audible. It's perceivable. Anywhere God moves, there is something to see and something to hear. 
When John the Baptist was talking, Jesus sent the message in Luke chapter 7 verse 22. He said, Then Jesus answered and said unto them, Go your way and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the dead hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he, whosoever is, shall not be offended in me. Tell him the things you saw and tell him the things you heard. So in the move of the spirit of God, there is something to see and something to hear. The move of the spirit of God is evidential. It is both experiential and evidential. There is something. It is newsworthy. There is something to hear. Is God speaking to somebody here? It is newsworthy. There is something to hear. There is something to see. Somebody say the loudest. Amen. Finally, the fifth character of the wind that classifies the move of God is forcible. Forcible. The, the wind has force. That is why hurricanes, hurricanes uproot trees. It's forcible, it's forceful, it's powerful. That was why in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it said, And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Somebody say a loud amen. Forcible, forcible. The move of God is not a weak God. God is a powerful God. God is a forceful God. God is, 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 is a real God. And before I go further, I pause here to announce and to prophesy and to make declarations upon everyone seated here that is expecting the move of God in your life, in your family, in our city. And especially in our nation, Nigeria, I announce the move of the Spirit and God will do things that will be very unpredictable. Unpredictable, unpredictable, unprecedented, unprecedented. Ay, 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 ay. There are things that God will do that will take the devil by surprise, take the nation by surprise, take your life by surprise, take your family by surprise. Is God, is God speaking to somebody here? Shout the loudest, amen. It's going to take the world by surprise. It's going to take your world by surprise. And I declare it shall be unstoppable. It shall be unstoppable. He say, I shall walk and who shall let it? No witch shall stop it. No wizard shall stop it. No cultic power shall stop it. No manipulative device shall stop what God will do in your life, in my life, in your land, in our land. Shall the loudest amen it shall be rapid it shall be fast it shall be quick before the blink of an eye god is already through somebody shout the loudest amen shall do it lord louder do it lord loudest do it lord it shall be recognizable even the blind shall see it shall feel something the dead shall hear something is God speaking to somebody here God is going to give evidence in your life evidence in your family evidence in the church evidence in our nation that he is God shout the loudest amen it shall be possible it shall be forcible. It shall be forcible. It shall be monumental. It shall be colossal. It shall be titanic. Shout power. Say it five times. Do it, Lord. Again. 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 And again. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. That is God. You thought he was coming through one way and he came through another way. Magalaga yagadish. Lefete kikeke bado la varadahasha. Lekeste frita kuz de melafarani galayadashta. That is God. The same God that advertised the birth of his son. Using the stars to the wise men. And the angels to the shepherd, to everyone the language they understood. 
That is God. And he is still God. Shout the loudest, amen. What are the keys to the move of God? So let's get ready for the unpredictable, for unpredictability, unstoppability, expeditiousness, recognizability, forcibility that God will, will, will manifest in our lives, in our land, in our families. And what are the keys to the move of the Spirit? Number one is first. First, first, first. People who are thirsty for the Spirit see the, the, the outpour of the Spirit. Isaiah chapter 44 and in verse 3. Isaiah chapter 44 and in verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. So if there is the thirst of soul, there is the outpour of the spirit. We are going to be hungry and say, Father, I am thirsty. I am yearning. I am hungry for your move in my life. Hungry for the move of your spirit in the church. Hungry for the move of your spirit in our nation. First, number two, prayer. And they continue with one accord in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. And then the day of Pentecost came as they continued in prayer. And suddenly, there was a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Prayer, prayer, desperate prayer, desperate prayer, desperate prayer, desperate prayer. Father, we need your move, the move of your spirit. We are not, we are not, we are not, we are not struggling for anything right now. Spirit of God, just move. Move over our land. Move over my life. Move over my family. And number three, praise. First, prayer. Praise. Ephesians chapter 5 and in verse 18. Ephesians chapter 5 and in verse 18. And be not drunk with wine that leads to excess, but be filled with the Spirit. And how is that? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns. And spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord is doorway, is doorway to the outpour of the Spirit, to the fullness of the Spirit. It is doorway. Tonight, if you are possessing thirst, and if you are equipped with prayer, and if you are going to release praise, let us get set to see the move of God in our lives, the move of the Spirit in our families and in the church and in our nation like never before. Somebody say a loud amen. Anybody here tonight at all? How many of you are ready to see some unpredictable things, to see some unstoppable actions of God, to see some expeditious actions of God? To see some forcible actions of God. Stand up on your feet. Some recognizable actions of God. Stand on your feet and shout the loudest. Amen.